Welcome to DIY Easy Crafts and BergKnifeMaking.com. Today we're going to take a look at this heart themed knife blade etching. This uh, heart themed scroll is electro etched. The material is AEBL stainless steel. The electro etching is done with a 12 volt uh, battery, automotive battery uh, charger, as well as an electrolyte solution of white wine vinegar and salt. So I'm just going to run you through uh, basically the whole etching process. I know I've done quite a few etching uh, videos. This is just, just another one for the collection. Um, the scroll I actually uh, drew in a graphic art program called Corel Draw, and I imported it into uh, Silhouette Cameo's uh, software. The Silhouette Cameo is a, a vinyl cutting machine that I use. It actually traces uh, any you know, solid black silhouette. And the red lines that you're seeing, the tracing, is actually the cut lines. Uh, those are the lines that the machine will actually cut out. So I just sized that scroll to where I wanted it, and the Cameo machine uh, cut it out on self-adhesive vinyl. Now because this is a fairly detailed design, if I was to weed that uh, vinyl uh, before putting it on the blade, I would have a really hard time you know, not, not ruining the vinyl. So what I'm doing here is I'm positioning the design exactly where I want it on the blade. I just kind of creased along that upper edge so I could visualize. And then when I have it where I want it, I'll use that crease as the reference. And I'm just going to uh, cut a little notch on the forward crease and then also on the back crease. And those will be my registration marks. Those will be the marks that, that help me to position this uh, vinyl exactly on the knife where I want it. Now I'm going to use a clear transfer fill. Um, I've applied that to the vinyl. I actually just use a clear contact paper from the local hardware store. Then I peel the back uh, um, you know, white paper. So now the vinyl is adhesive. You can see the two registration marks there. I marked, um, ju I just did it with a pen, you could use a marker, uh, where that vinyl is going to um, appear left to right, front to back. So I've now got registration marks along the top in two sides and then also along that edge. So I can position exactly where I want it on the, on the blade. And then I'm just going to use a credit card uh, and just really rub that vinyl in to make sure that it's completely adhered. Uh, with no little bubbles. I can peel off that self-adhesive uh, transfer film I can get rid of that. And now I can start the weeding process. Um, because this is kind of a, a thin, fine design, I chose to weed after the vinyl was on the steel. It's just, I just find it easier with these small pieces or with these thin pieces. Um, I just used a, a little a razor knife to get each piece uh, started and then I really like these uh, 90 degree tweezers they just make you know grabbing this vinyl uh, very easy and if you've never done metal etching before uh, basically that everything that's covered with the vinyl is not going to get etched and everything that's exposed uh, is going to get electro etched so now that I've completely weeded the area that I want to etch, I'm now going to um, protect the rest of the blade. I'm going to put some additional vinyl um, you know, on any exposed uh, steel, you know, behind, uh, below, and in front. And I'm actually also going to cover the entire back of the blade. Uh, the purpose of this is when, I'm, when it's sitting on a wet piece of wood that, that has electrolyte solution in it, I don't want any uh, electricity going through that and, and etching the wrong side of the blade. The electrolyte solution that I have is just white wine vinegar with some salt. Now people ask me, you know, how much salt exactly do you add uh, to the electrolyte solution? I don't have an answer. I just pour a whole bunch of salt in. Um, this is my electric uh, electro plate. It's just a flat piece of steel and I've welded on a piece of tubing to act as the handle. And I actually screwed on a piece of wood on top of that. Um, that tubing has a, a tapped hole in it for the electrical cord. This is my 12 volt 
automotive battery charger. The positive lead just gets clipped onto the handle. The negative lead um, is screwed right onto that electroplate. Uh, I've, I've covered that electroplate with gauze wrap. It's called, actually called Curlex. And then I'm going to etch uh, 10 to 20 seconds at a time, um, you know, for three or four rounds, or your total of about a minute or a minute, minute and 20 seconds. And then I'm going to let it cool. And I can either let it cool just by giving it some time, uh, or I can actually take that blade and disconnect it and, and submerge it in a bucket of water. Uh, either way, you don't want that blade to get so hot that the self-adhesive vinyl would lose its adhesion, because then you would, you know, you wouldn't end up nice, clean, crisp etching lines. You also make note that I've got it suspended on two pieces of scrap wood, so that that blade itself doesn't end up sitting in a puddle of electrolyte solution. All just precautions um, from lessons learned in the past and, and failures uh, that I've made in the past. So again, you want to etch this uh, probably for three to four minutes, and this is again 12 volts, two amps. You want to do it in 20 second increments at the max, letting it cool a little bit in between each, and then after every, every minute or so, really cool down that blade by submerging it in cold, in cold water. And you'll get a feel for, uh, you know, how long you need to etch something. There is definitely some trial and error here. You know, if you're working with, with uh, a different amperage, it might take a little bit longer or a little bit less, um, less time. You just have to experiment a little bit. Uh, this one was about three and a half minutes. I peeled off the vinyl, and what I'm looking for as a finished result is really nice, clean, crisp lines. But I also want a deep etch. I don't want an etch that's going to wear out over time uh, with you know, with use, I really want to be able to almost catch my fingernail on the uh, depth of the edge. So I peel off all the vinyl uh, with a, a razor knife, and then I used, I think this is 1500 grit paper, just to clean it up a little bit. Now this heart-themed knife is actually for a, a cancer uh, charity. So I've, I've made some really cool uh, pink handles for this that should uh, complement uh, the blade design and I'll I'll show you that on a on a future project or a future video uh, this is the finished etching I hope you liked this short little video if you did I ask that you please subscribe to this channel and give it a thumbs up and I would absolutely love it if you left a comment in the comment section if you're interested in knife making uh, check out our Facebook group knives and knife making um, and you can also check out the book that Jason Northgard and I put out about two years ago called Introduction to Knife Making, and that can be found on Amazon.com. Thank you very much.